Golden Age comic beyond number 27. Hard to read the writing on this camera. Let's see. I was thinking about recording these and, uh, reading all the dialogue and shit, but it's, it's too small to see with this particular camera, I guess. Can't read it, it's blurry. Oh well. Get an overview of it. shadows there get an idea what the artwork looks like anyway werewolf Much of a shadow there if you get close. True tales of the supernatural. Got a little tear there, it looks like. When I was growing up as a kid, I remember there was a show, I think it came on Nickelodeon. They would actually read the comic books on the television. They would have close-ups of all the photos and dialogue. You could read along with it, but uh, this is a little $100 camera for putting stuff on YouTube. It doesn't seem like it's up to the task of reading the text where you can see it on the camera. What about It'd be nice if you could scan all these pages and save them, but uh, probably damage the comic book doing that, so. I actually sold this one on, uh, on eBay already. I'm thinking of going through and uh, all the comics that I'm going to sell, do like this on eBay on each one of them. A little because you always get these people that send the emails asking you for little details on each comic book. If they can get like an overview of seeing it with the camera, it would be better than just a description, I guess. Anyway. That is the Beyond number 27. You can barely see the text if you put it up like that, but it's blurry. See what year this thing was. 
July 1954. I actually got a whole box of these here and one up there on the shelf of Golden Age comic books I acquired that I'm planning on selling. So we'll see. Later.